Hey guys and welcome to a video about another Nougat ROM you may wish to install on your Samsung Galaxy S5. This one is the well-known Resurrection Remix, so let's take a look. Checking the settings, you immediately see the Android version is 7.1.2 and here you see this is the official version of Resurrection Remix. As far as I know, this is the last Nougat update of the official version before Oreo comes along, but there is an official development in the meantime. Here's a list of all the special features of this ROM and it's quite a long one. Performance-wise, everything is smooth and snappy as you can see. This funky wallpaper is also pre-installed, together with a few similar ones. There are also these stockish Google ones you have already seen elsewhere. Let's run through stock apps. We'll check Chrome. And then we get to the camera. Camera app isn't the greatest, but it does come with its fair share of modes and options. As you can see, you can shoot 4K resolution video. Let's test that. Okay, no problems with the recording or reproduction. Regarding Resurrection Remix special features, here's OmniSwitch, which enables you to control many things from just one place. It has its own set of settings. There's some system info here and also shortcuts to some of the most used features. Moving on, under settings you'll find this, configurations. This way you can personalize the status bar, different panels, recents, quick settings, lock screen, gestures, buttons, animations, different UI options and other stuff also. So let's try a few. Pi control gesture enables you to activate navigation buttons Pi anywhere on the screen by pulling from its edge. Then you can see I've already customized the clock to show seconds. I've got the date and weekday shown, and you can also put custom logos in the status bar and select their color. There are also status bar gestures available. 
Oh yeah, and as you can see, fingerprint reader works well. There are many, many options for you to play with here. Let's try these two gestures. Double tap the lock screen. Okay, it went to sleep. And a long press on the power button can activate the torch. Cool. Let's check this three finger swipe to take a screenshot. Okay, it took its time, but here it is. So, if you like what you see and want to give it a try, here's what you have to keep in mind. I've listed supported models in the video description. There, I've also linked download sites for the ROM and GApps. Download the zip files onto your phone. Of course, your device needs to be rooted and you should have TWRP recovery installed. So, boot to TWRP by holding volume up, home and power. In TWRP, select Wipe, Advanced Wipe and select Dalvik slash Hardcache, System Data and Cache. Swipe to Wipe. I love saying that. And now go back and select Install. Find the downloaded zip files, select the Resurrection Remix ROM file and swipe to confirm flash. It should be done in a jiffy. Now select your GApps 7.1 zip file and confirm flash. Let's cut to when it's over. When the flashing of GApps is done, you're ready for the first boot. It will take a while, so just be patient. Ok, it took less than 5 minutes. Now we can set up the phone for use. Select language, choose whether to restore apps or set the phone as a new device. Connect to Wi-Fi, log in to Google account. Set up fingerprint unlock. And finally select our launcher. I like the Pixel launcher quite a lot. I haven't played with this ROM much, but everything I've tested has worked, so I feel it's quite a stable option if you wish to run Nougat on your Galaxy S5. I hope you liked this video, stay subscribed for more stuff like this, and until the next one, goodbye.